Shanna Cleveland, Senior Counsel with Free Speech for People, and I'm here with Jasmine Gomez uh, to talk a little bit about Citizens United and uh, the eight-year anniversary. So let's get started. Um, this weekend was actually the eighth anniversary of the Citizens United decision. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the case and what the implications from that decision have been? Yeah, so Citizens United was a pivotal Supreme Court decision that kind of took these elements of campaign finance laws and corporate rights and brought them together in a new extreme. Uh, it basically said that wealthy individuals and corporations and unions are able to pump unlimited amounts of money into our political um, system. And that means basically that in order for us to be heard in our political system, we have to be able to compete with those finances. So compete with big donors uh, like the industries, private prison industries, financial industries, um, wealthy corporations like Exxon or Amazon, and also just wealthy individuals as a whole. Um, so what that means is folks who don't have access to those finances are often not heard in our political system, and it's run for and by the wealthy few. Can you talk about whether or not there are any remedies uh, for the situation that, we're fi that we find ourselves in post-Citizens United? What is free speech for people doing or other groups that you've worked with? How are they fighting back against Citizens United? Yeah, so since the day that Citizens United came out, free speech for people um, formed at that point. Uh, so that we could actually work towards fighting around this. And we do it through the courts, but we also do it through a constitutional amendment. And that's specifically what I work on, is how do we pass a constitutional amendment to overturn Citizens United and other Supreme Court decisions that have allowed for this unlimited money to kind of flow into our political systems and for corporations to claim all of their constitutional rights. But groups have been working on it for a while, and we've got 19 states and almost 800 communities that have passed local resolutions for it. Wonderful. So, and are there, what are the latest updates on the work that's been done around the constitutional amendment? Yeah, so in Massachusetts, actually, there we're getting a, a ballot initiative to come onto the 2018 ballot, and individuals can then vote for a citizens commission that would allow individuals who live in Massachusetts to study the impacts that money in politics has on our local elections and on our elected officials and create a report to bring it to our elected representatives so that they could really understand what it is that they're fighting for and against. Terrific. Well, that's all the time we have for now, but if you want to find out more, please visit our website at freespeechforpeople.org. Thanks, Jasmine.